Hey guys, what's up? It's AppleCritics from AppleCritics.com, and in this video we'll be doing a full recap of WWDC 2016, or the Worldwide Developers Conference 2016. So Apple introduced a lot of new things, so in this video we'll be going over a complete rundown. Uh, so Apple has used the opening keynote of this year's WWDC 2016 to officially provide the world with the first glimpse of Watch OS 3, the third major iteration of the firmware that powers the Apple Watch wearable. So many current Apple Watch owners, as well as the ones that have chosen to stay away from the first iteration of the product, were hoping against hope that a second generation Apple Watch would be introduced at this year's WWDC. And while that, as expectedly, hasn't happened, there's still good news on the Apple Watch front as owners now rely on the progression of underlying software to get new features and improve the overall experience of the current Apple Watch model. So. Let's take a deeper look at that, and there's just a bunch of new features. So the first one is faster app launch. So the apps will launch much faster compared to watchOS 2, so the previous version, uh, with Apple introducing the ability for watchOS apps to be kept in memory along with background updates and refresh information. Apple is now calling it instant launch and sounds uh, quite like the iOS experience. Apparently there's a seven-fold increase in launch times now. Now there's also the side button launch uh, multitasking dock. Uh, so hitting the side button now referred to as the dock button now launches the dock in place of the communication screen that users have been uh, used to till now. So from here you can switch between live apps easily. So Apple also seems to be allowing third-party apps to appear in the dock, which is not only good uh, to see, but also a relief. Uh, now there's also the control center. So quite like iOS, watchOS 3 is bringing in a dedicated control center to the Apple Watch. Uh, so you can just swipe up from the bottom for instant access to switches like airplane mode, do not disturb, silent mode, etc. And it also shows you the battery percentage. Uh, now you also have the scribble keyboard. So with the new way to input text, users can now simply scribble or draw letters on the screen to type. Additionally, users can also scribble on the face of the watch. Uh, there's also new reply options. So watchOS 3 brings in a slightly powerful reply options to messages received onto your wrist with instant access users can also scribble on the face of uh, the watch for the new scribble option as well uh, so uh, there's also new watch faces so some new watch faces uh, including uh, mini mouse watch face as well as numerals Apple has also made an activity watch face available which lets you monitor your activity through the day and complete the uh, activity rings as well so that's a really nice new feature uh, you can also switch some watch faces uh, so uh, you can just change them quickly you have updated reminders and find friends so uh, that's cool to see where your friends are just all from your wrist and you have the reminders to obviously remind you certain tasks uh, you have the SOS button so holding down the dock button will instantly dial 911 uh, which is a new feature added to it uh, workouts launch from watch face so users will now be able to launch work Workouts directly from the watch face without having uh, to use your voice, uh, which isn't exactly the fastest and effective method of all time. And you have three more features, which is uh, the activity sharing, so you can share your activity with your friends. Uh, and then you have uh, the new Breathe app, so you can help with your walking and everything and relax and breathe in and breathe out. But then you have Apple Pay and third-party apps, so you can now have Apple Pay on the Apple Watch to pay for services and products uh, in the third-party apps. And you have some new APIs, so uh, fitness apps in the background, real-time heart rate and location data collection, uh, and just a few small things on that front. Uh, those are the main features for the Apple Watch, uh, and the watchOS 3 beta is available to developers in a pre-release format today. General availability for the new watchOS 3 update will be available to everyone this fall. So that is everything with the Apple Watch. Now the next new feature is the Mac OS Sierra, so that's the whole new operating system, so 10.12. Uh, so it's really cool to see that Apple updated it and it did have even more features than the Apple Watch. Uh, so with macOS Sierra 10.12 uh, announced, there's a lot of new features and release date uh, and a whole lot more. Uh, so going into it, you have Siri. 
Now Siri, hands down, is the biggest feature uh, to the Mac. Uh, and you now have Siri on your Mac. It was rumored, everybody thought it was coming, and Apple actually did come through. So a uh, big uh, clap for Apple there. So as expected, and rightfully so, Siri has finally landed on Mac. Uh, the digital assistant now finds itself a home in the dock. So it's actually in your dock. Uh, and clicking on the icon will launch the assistant with it appearing in the top right menu of the bar. Uh, so uh, it's a really good place for Siri. Of course, it carries the usual uh, what Siri is famous for. And along with that, you can also help uh, finding files in Finder as well as send messages. Many Mac owners who regularly use uh, an iPhone or iPad will probably feel that this is one of the uh, features that is long overdue. Siri for Mac will function in much uh the same manner as it does on Apple's mobile devices. Users will also be able to speak directly to the Mac once it has been uh, primed for voice guidance and get instant access uh, to lots of information and answers with a whole heap of questions, find local restaurants and businesses, find out the stores from recent sports events, historical stats, and so on. Uh, just Siri is a great feature. Now, me personally, I don't know if I'll be using Siri on my Mac. I barely use it on my iPhone. It's a novel, it's a very novelty feature, and it's nice to have, but you probably won't necessarily end up using it. It just depends what type of user you are. It's cool in the first few weeks, but eventually that will fade away from me, just personally. And now you also have auto unlock, so no need to enter that password that keeps your desktop safe from prying eyes. If you have an Apple Watch and you're wearing it, when accessing your Mac, Mac OS Sierra is smart enough to verify your identity by communicating with your Apple Watch and remove the need to enter a password. So that's a really cool feature. All you need is your Apple Watch and it will start uh, working and can go straight on into your Mac. Uh, it, is kind of not secure but it could be secure as well so you'll have to wait for that feature and then you have universal clipboard it's still a clipboard but uh, one that is accessible on the mac as well as an iphone thus making it much easier to pick up information from devices this means users will be able to copy and paste uh so uh from a mac to an iphone so that's nice i uh, have yeah, desktop synchronization so why limit synchronization to files on the cloud apple I probably asked themselves the question and you have it on your iPhone so from your desktop from your Mac to your iPhone so that's nice you also have Apple Pay so Safari will allow users to make payments through their browser via Apple Pay when making a payment users will be prompted on their iPhone or Apple Watch to authenticate the action using Touch ID or tap on the Apple Watch you have picture in picture as well so with picture in picture being uh, very popular on the iPad it's only fair that it will now be available on large screen Mac, so uh, that's nice to have so you can watch a video on the web while continuing to work on something else on their Mac. Uh, and then you have optimized storage, so uh, make room for new files and older ones in the cloud, so you can integrate iCloud. And then you have Safari S tabs and apps, uh, and you have some more performance. And the release date of this uh, is in the fall, uh, so once again, it's in the fall, and the public beta will be available sometime in July, and only developers can get it today. Now, last but not least, is iOS 10. Uh, so, iOS 10 has been highly anticipated, uh, and here are the features and the release date and more. So, the first major update or overhaul was the Messages app. Uh, so it got completely overhauled. There's a bunch of new features to it, uh, and they spent most of the demonstration on this and also Apple Music, but we'll start with Messages. So here's the Messages. Uh, the new and improved Messages app from iOS 10 promises more expressive conversations with your friends and family with the addition of stickers, message bubble animations, full screen effects like balloons flying across the screen or confetti dropping down uh, from the top and animated handwritten notes. Uh, users can now uh, view or play shared content such as web links or music right within Messages app uh, and easily insert hard to find emojis through the use of automatic suggestions which can replace a word with the appropriate emoticon or emoji. A fun new feature called Tap Back allows you to respond to a message, much like Facebook allows you to react to posts. On top of that, Messages is being open to developers. The app now houses an app drawer of its own, which will allow users to quickly jump from the app store to download message-related apps and then use it in a matter of uh, using gifts and sending payments to a friend. 
And then there's Apple Music. Uh, so there's a huge revamp with it. It looks a lot different, uh, and you can just get a whole bunch of new features. So if you're an Apple Music subscriber, Apple allows you to handle your streaming needs with this across your devices. iOS 10 still continues to promote Apple Music as a perfect streaming option uh, through the uh, native music app, but Apple has seen a fit with a whole lot of new features. So basically the new features is that it's more so a design overhaul, and there's not too many new features with the Apple Music. It's just refining everything and making everything better in some way, shape, or form. Now, there's also some improvements to Siri. So uh, there's a bunch of new features with Siri. Uh, so Siri most definitely improves and becomes a lot smarter, and they're just adding a whole uh, whack of new features and also uh, opening the SDK. So there's going to be some third-party developers for integration into App Store apps and more. And there's also CarPlay, and they're really pushing that. Now, the Photos app also did get better. So uh, there's much more photos and it got a UI overhaul and redesign. Uh, it's more categorized. There's face recognition. The Photos app as a whole got better, so you can focus on the photograph editing abilities in the app uh, rather than you can cut and drop an image. And there's just a whole lot of new features in the Photo app. Uh, it's not too many uh, big features, but it's just a bunch of small features which make it a lot better. Uh, and there's also some Apple Pay updates, so Apple Pay got better. Uh, and a new Home app for HomeKit, uh, so you can control uh, apps in the home environment. Uh, so some light bulbs and everything like that. And that was pretty much it. Uh, it's a very solid update to say the least. Uh, and that's what iOS 10 has to offer. For me, in my honest opinion, I believe it's a disappointment. Uh, there's not too many big features with iOS 10, it's kind of like an incremental update, kind of like a 0.1 update, uh, but there's just a bunch of small features, but there's not just that home run feature. Uh, so that was Watch OS 3, Mac OS Sierra, and iOS 10, all that was announced in WWDC. So thanks for watching this video on Apple WWDC 2016. Please be sure to subscribe, like this video, please smash the like button down below so now you watch. Also check out all my other videos on my channel. And be sure to like my Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash and follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash And thanks for watching.